Hi, you're right. Welcome to the Clock Project Lesson 2. Uh, let's see where we got up to last time and what we're going to be doing to, uh, today. So last time we were looking at this clock mechanism and we know that we're going to be, over the next couple of lessons, converting this into a virtual model. And when you put the two side by side, it'll look something like this. Now last time we designed the black box at the bottom, the main body of the uh, clock mechanism. Today we are going to have a little look at the next part which is going to be the wall mounting bracket uh, that you can see on both versions here and here. And uh, that's what it looks like as a separate piece in case you're wondering. So if we have a little look at our engineer's drawing we're going to be focusing on this section here today. So uh, let's take a little look at this. Now if you uh, haven't already got Inventor open make sure you load that. If you can't remember how to load Inventor uh, please go and have a quick look at video number one as I explain it all there. Uh, just like last time though we are going to start off by creating a brand new part by clicking part up here. Uh, once it uh, loads up we are then going to get started straight away with a brand new 2D sketch and you select that by clicking up at the top here. And just like last time we have the choice of planes to choose from. Um, for the whole project we're always going to be using the XY plane so just click on that and it will move you straight into sketch mode. And you can always tell you're in sketch mode because of this black cross that you've got going across your page. Now, to start off with today, we are going to draw three lines. So we're going to use the line tool. And we're going to start our first line right in the middle of our cross here. And that's, remember, where the dot goes green. So you can see it's yellow most of the time. And then if you hover near the center, it snaps into place and goes green. So you click, we're then going to move your mouse over to the left and you're going to create a line by uh, clicking again. You're then going to move straight up, so it's going to be a vertical line, you're going to click again. And you're going to go across to the left again and you're going to click one more time. Once you've done this, you then right click and you go OK and that takes you out of the line mode tool. What we're going to do is set our sizes for these lines and you can find these using the engineer's drawing. So this bottom one is 16.06. We then go up by 17.30 and then across by 38. So uh, let's add those dimensions in now. And remember you do this using the dimension tool. So you just click on there. I'm then cl going to click on that bottom line, move the mouse down and I'll click again so I can edit the dimension. And this one is 16.06. You then hit enter or click that green tick. The next one I'll change is the vertical line. So again, I click, move the mouse and click again. And that one is gonna be 17.3. And remember you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel if you can't see that last line. I'll then click on that last one and I'm gonna set that one to 38 and I'll zoom out again so that I can see the whole thing. So that's the basic shape that we're gonna start working with, but we can't actually extrude that at the moment because it's only three lines and we need a closed up shape uh, in order to extrude and make something 3D. Three lines is not enough. Now we could just go and draw these lines again, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna use the offset tool. And if you click on that, you can then click on the lines and you see it highlights all of them in red and then you can then move it up and down to create the same lines just spaced apart and if we looked at our engineer's drawing you can see the distance between these lines is 0.7 and you can just type that in straight away then you hit enter as always though we right click and go OK to get off of the tool that we're currently using now we're pretty much there but we still can't extrude this because if you look at each end, there's no lines joining up either end. So we're going to do that now. Back on the line tool and then you're going to wait till each dot goes green. So you're going to click, go to where it goes green again and click. And we'll do the same at the other end. Click and click. And then it's right click and OK to get off of the line tool. Now, just like last time, we're going to go to finish sketch. We'll make sure we can see our whole shape and go extrude. Now this is the only dimension that's not on your uh, engineer's drawing. And it's so that you can definitely have to watch the video and pay close attention. 
So for our extrusion, we are gonna set this number to 20. And then you can click OK. And if we have a look back, you can see this is pretty close already to the shape that we're aiming for. We've just got a few little bits that we need to sort out and finish off. First thing we're going to do is add some fillets that we're gonna to use to round off the edges where the piece is bent. And we're gonna make these one millimeter fillets. We're gonna click on the inside. We're then gonna use the rotate tool here to have a look on the other side. I'll click back on selected and I'm gonna select those two inside edges as well. And that just applies a little fillet. And I did that by clicking the apply tool. And you can see that's now rounded off those edges. I'm also, if we have another look back at the drawing, going to round off the long edge. So it's the 38 millimeter edge. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter fillet to round off that side. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna rotate round so I can see both of those edges. Go into the fillet tool. I'll change that radius to 10. You then have to click on where it says zero selected and you're gonna click only those two little lines. Then click apply and you see now that has rounded off that long edge pretty nicely. We're now gonna do something a little bit different on this shorter side here. We're going to use the chamfer tool and we're gonna set the chamfer to 10 millimeters. And just like we did before, we're gonna click those two little short edges. And if you can't get it to click, you might need to zoom in a little bit so you can click them. Then we're gonna apply that. There's one more fillet we need to apply right on the end here, because we don't want a sharp point. We're gonna put a three millimeter fillet and we're gonna do it on that side there and click apply. Then you can close the fillet tool. And we're pretty close. All we've got to do now is the round hole up here and the triangular hole down here. We'll start with the easy one. We'll start with the round hole and we'll do that by clicking top so that we're viewing this from the top down. We're then gonna start a new sketch on this top side that we're looking at here. And there's a great little cheat we can use with the circle tool. If you hover over this outside edge, you can see it creates a little purple dot. And that purple dot gives you the center of that curve. We can then drag out and set the dimension of this circle to 14 millimeters. That's what it says on our engineer's drawing. You then hit enter and that creates that circle. We're now gonna finish the sketch and we're gonna extrude it. Now there's a tiny difference between this extrude and the normal one because this time we want to create a hole by cutting away this circle. So watch what I do here very closely. I click extrude, exactly the same as before. This time though, I hover over this one, it's got that little red box on it, and if you hover over it, it says cut. We're gonna select that one by clicking on it, then we'll go okay, and you can see now, it has cut out that circle. If we go back to the top view again, we're now gonna create a little triangular hole so if you have a look at our drawing, we've got a little triangle hole here. We're gonna do this on this surface down here. So we start a new sketch. This time, I'm gonna click on this face. And if I zoom in a little bit, oh, let me try that again, there we go. There we go. We can now start drawing. Now once again, if we hover over this circle, this sort of curve, we get a point nicely in the middle. And I can then draw three lines. And if you see when you get to this point, you get a dotted line appear. And that means it's gonna be a nice equal triangle. And we can join it up like so. We then go to finish sketch. And the same as last time, we're gonna extrude, but this time cut it away by clicking this one with the red box. Then we'll click okay and you can see now that has cut out the shape. The last thing we're gonna do, because we don't like any sharp corners on the inside of this, we're gonna create a little one millimeter fillet and we're gonna put this in each of the corners of the shape. Now, if you zoom in, you'll be able to select those lines. It can be a bit tricky, so you might need to zoom in and uh, do it a few times, but there we go. You click apply 
and that's rounded off those edges quite nicely. And that is the part that we need. That's all we need to do for today. The last thing we're gonna do before we finish this video is save this component in the same folder that we worked in last time. So if we go to File and Save As, now you should be in your Year 8 Clock folder, but if you can't remember how to get there, you click, you go to the drop-down menu, you click your name, Documents, last time you created a Technology folder, you then had a year eight clock folder inside there. And this time we're gonna call this clock mounting bracket. And then just hit enter or click save. And that is all we need to do for today. So next time we are gonna start making some of the hardware that's gonna attach the, the uh, mounting bracket onto the main body. And then after that, we'll have a look at starting to make the clock hands and putting it all together. So make sure you've saved your work and then you can move on to video number three.